hiking in Hong Kong means three things. Greenery, great views, and a hell of a lot of steps. I'm feeling a little bit winded right now. <laughs> but look at this beautiful view. Check that out. That's the reward right there. I'm on a trail called Dragon's Back, a mountain ridge in Southeast Hong Kong Island with a summit of nearly 300 meters. I say we're about, what, half hour car ride from central Hong Kong and you're here. Lush, green, verdant Hong Kong where you can get lost in the hills, where you can see wildlife, where you can see the coast. Speaking of getting lost in the hills, it's the perfect place to come see the latest life-saving rescue technology in action. Not overboard! Which is what this show is all about. We'll get a glimpse of the next generation of rescue tech for first responders, from fire drones to unmanned rescue vessels. I'm Christy Lustow. This is Tech for Good. It's hot. Trust me, I'm sweating. Here on Dragon's Back, we're not far from the city, but still, a lot can go wrong. Oh. Up here, the weather can change in an instant. But you can see the appeal, right? Worth the risk. Or that's what a lot of Hong Kongers think. So another hiker just warned us of a snake sighting. In 2022, the authorities here had about four times the number of rescue cases compared to 2019 due to more hikers on the trails. And if someone's lost up here, help can be a long time coming. That's what these guys are trying to solve. Max Lee and Joshua Chan graduated with a degree in aviation and aeronautical engineering in 2020. The following year, they met with the Hong Kong Fire Services Department, who were looking for new technology to help find missing hikers faster. The authorities were using drones to take high resolution photos of an area, then looking at each one individually for signs of people. But they quickly realized they needed something more. It's very hard for a human eye to see the missing victims in these mountains. And it also takes a lot of time because the image is very large and very high resolutions. So then we've developed this AI model to speed up the entire process and to find that potential missing victim in a faster time. And to develop the AI model, you have to train the AI model, right? So you're here with your drone to get data so you can do just that. The goal is to get, get as much data we can from all the environment in Hong Kong, all different types of terrains in Hong Kong, just to train our dog model with a very high quality data to distinguish between a person inside an image or just vegetation and rocks. Lee and Chan asked their friends to hide along the trails to mimic lost hikers. It took us around 25 hikes and we collected over around 6,000 images. So why not just use a drone with a live video stream to search for missing hikers? Well, Lee says it depends a lot on image quality, connectivity, and internet speed, which can be unreliable in remote areas. So do you think your technology has helped lead to the rescue of people in distress? Well, I think our technology definitely helped in, you know, uh, using in or, you know, cut time to rescue time for some of the missing hikers in some of the cases recently. So let's let it rip. Let's see how the data collection part works. So right now we're going to mimic what the fire services department is going to do. So we're going to fly a drone and we're going to take pictures of a search area. And then we're going to see if the image is going to pick Max up. And then we're going to run the images through our software so we can see if the software is going to detect the missing victim, which is Max right here. When we have the identification inside the image, the geotag of that image will be flagged and you know, alert the authorities. You see? Not right now. It's blank, so there. As you can see, finding a person in a tree canopy is kind of like finding a needle in a haystack, or more like a backpack in a bush from 60 meters in the air. Not easy. 
Where is Max? I think that's him right there, at the crosshair. That's right there, you got yep. him. The next day, I met Lee and Chan at their alma mater, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, to see the AI algorithm in action. So yesterday we took about 32 images in total, and then this is the first image. So right here, you can see that um, we have a map that shows the location as well as the um, image and as well as the detections um, of the potential victims inside those images. So over here, I can zoom in. So it shows me right here, lying down on the ground. How accurate is your technology? Out of um, 100 hikers, we can successfully detect 97 of them. Not bad. How efficient is your model? Right now, uh, based on our statistics, we can cut down around two-thirds of the time in comparison to reviewing each image manually. Developed in partnership with the Hong Kong Fire Services Department, Chan says the AI program can also detect different colors and objects like backpacks, as well as mapping the surrounding terrain for the rescue services. It's a Hong Kong trained solution to a local problem, but something that Lee and Chan would like to scale up and make global someday. Your technology has the power to save lives. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. I really want to make an impact in this world, and I think through this software, if we can even save one life, then that already means a lot to us.